world and uh, today I'll be teaching you uh, about while, while loop and it's all about looping and we are using a uh, like um, a keyword that is called while and um, if you want to know more uh, detail about while you can read the blog here about automatic Kotlin which explains much in detail and also give you the example so well uh, while this this keyword in Kotlin is usually uh, used for repetition okay like you know computers are ideals for repetitive task right as you know that so uh, when you have to do uh, repeatedly a task uh, like for example you want to print a statement repeatedly for multiple times then you use while and uh, this is uh, what computers are made for um, like like uh, are helpful for right so now yeah as you can see the, um, the example here so while this boolean expression condition pass then this code will be executed okay and will be repeated actually and uh, this is uh, this is the condition I mean like this is uh, the format in which you have to use while and like you can get the example here right like the function this condition if this condition pass like this is the condition okay and then this statement is printed and this is like a counter so it's pretty much like counting the loop so that uh, just to avoid infinite loop right and uh, as you know that this is a comparison oper operator which will produce a boolean result so kotlin infers boolean as a, a result type for condition right so this is uh, like a uh, operator comparison operator which is comparing i with 100 and it's producing a boolean result right and i plus plus is an operator that adds 10 to i and assign the result i in a single operation so that means it's like a counter this is the counter right and also there is actually a second way to use while but um, uh, this is called do while but actually while is much preferable because uh, uh, because there is a little difference about do while and while do while the code will be repeated actually do this code will be repeated in this block when the condition passes the only difference about uh, do while and while is uh, at least one the code block is repeated at least once even if the condition doesn't pass if even if this condition doesn't pass the the uh, this express this block of code will be executed whereas in while this block of code will be executed only in case if the condition pass okay so there is like uh, a situation in do while that um, even if the condition is not, not passed the code will be at least repeated once okay so this uh, for this reason while is use much more than the do while but for some conditions if you need to um, uh, execute the code at least once even if the condition doesn't pass then you use do while all right so that's it for the do while and a while keyword guys and like let's go and yeah you can also check out the examples here this is like the example of do while this block of code will be executed at least once even if the condition doesn't pass right so uh, and uh, the assignment operator okay so actually there are also different assignment operators like um, as you can see is plus minus equals this is assignment so this is gonna assign it's gonna do this assignment operator is what is gonna do is gonna do is something like um, n equals to n minus d okay it's gonna do something like this this is like assignment operator all right and uh, there is different assignment operators like minus equals plus equals or you can multiply equals or divide 
equals or you can have a modulus equal mm, sorry you can have a modulus equals right so there are almost like five different kind of assignment operators and increment operator as you can see this is the counter which is like pretty much incrementing the counter right this is the counter actually and this is the incremental operator used for the counting okay now let's go and solve the exercises guys so the first exercise says that why using a while loop write a function display content that takes a string parameter and displays each character on its own line okay so it, it's gonna do something like this so how can we do that let's use the while loop so actually let's use a while but for while I need a counter uh, counter I and I'll assign the counter to 0 uh, and uh, what I do while I is uh, less than um, I have to check the condition right so condition is uh, is less than value dot length so this uh, string has a length so I have to assign uh, I have to repeat it one two three times right so that means the maximum length and then what I have to do is pretty much I have to print it the I and uh, yeah I also need to repeat the counter with the incremental operator uh, zero okay I think it's done guys so that's it so let's check it if the solution is correct oh sorry guys actually I have to not print that one I have to print the value of uh, I actually uh, Okay, I have to print the value of the i. Okay, that's correct. So let's go to the next one. And uh, 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 okay, this exercise says that using a while loop, write a function that sums the integer number from zero up to and including a given number, the parameter okay so I have to sum everything like this one so pretty much yeah I decide give the result that's two uh, to zero it starts so I have to use a while loop uh, that uh, has a condition should go to on should be less than or equal to a number so this condition should pass and it's it should um, uh, sum the in integral numbers from 0 up to okay so that means in the result uh, I have to use an assignment operator that is gonna sum and I have to sum pretty much this one so it starts from 0 and okay so then uh, I have to also increment the counter and I have to return the result let's check it guys okay this is also done so now let's go to the third exercise what it says that repetition with while using a while loop write a function that sums only even number up to and including given number so I have to only sum the even number so how do we do that so similarly I have a result uh, let's say it's a zero and I have a counter this is an index uh, also is zero and I have to use a while loop while I is less than uh, including the given number so I have to also include that given number uh, and then what I have to do is I have to to check first um, if the uh, if the number is a even number so how do I check the if the number is a even number is I have to do um, this 
I have to check the modulus of uh, n that the total number with uh, oh no no sorry actually I have to do the modulus of that number with the 2 if it x equals to 0 that means it's a even number so this is a condition to check if it is a number so I'm if the modulus of 2 that means if the return value of the modulus of that number uh, with a 2 is equals to 0 then that it's uh, means it's a even number so if the even number if it is a even number then I have to add in the result so I have to add the result uh, that number and then uh, outside the condition I have to increment the counter and then finally I have to return the result right guys so now let's check the the solution yeah this is also correct guys so now the next one is like it's about mastering the IDE the integrated development environment so moving the carrot you can move the carrot a word at a time thus the same works for the selecting text so how to move uh, uh, the carrot carrot is this is the carrot right so this is the carrot this is the carrot how to move the carrot a word at a time is like you just need to use the option key and the the arrow forward arrow so you see I am moving a word at a time you see pretty much yeah and if you want to move back is same click word option back okay and uh, yeah if you want to move and also select then you have to use option shift and arrow forward you see and if you want to do the same thing backward option shift and back key so that's it guys and let's go and take the next one and it says the mastering idea extract variable so uh, so you can extract a val or var automatically select the expression inside a string template and then do one of the following so uh, as you know that this is the keyword to find an action so it's like um, so action keywords right so uh, it's like um, command shift a will give you the action sorry guys command shift a is the action and i want to get the action for this variable which is actually you can see here extract variable right so extract variable you see the command the action key for that command is uh, extract variable is this one is uh, option command v okay to extract the variable so first you need to do this select this one this um, uh, expression and use that command that you obtain from the action keyword right so it's command shift v sorry uh, uh, no it's like command option v right command option v okay you see it's extracted the variable and you can declare with var specify type explicitly you can pretty much do uh, everything like this you see okay so guys that's it and um, i hope I finished the part with a repetition with the while so catch you up in the next tutorial if you like uh, like my tutorial then con please consider subscribing me thank you